ProGreen uh, Innovations is a refuse-derived fuel manufacturer. Uh, we turn waste materials into usable fuel. Uh, currently, our focus is waste plastic. So waste plastic, we take, uh, we take it through a pyrolysis process, and uh, we end up with usable fuel, which is alternative fuel for petrol and diesel engines. Our production process entails a couple of steps. First, you'll get the waste plastic. The waste plastic will need to be shredded. After it's shredded, it has to be cleaned and it's loaded to the reactor. After coming from the reactor, there's a heating process. The heating process doesn't make use of electricity. It makes use of our own fuel that we refer to as briquettes. The briquette is made from biomass, waste biomass, and a combination of the black char, which comes as a waste from the reactor. Then there's a condensation process after condensing, then there's a vaporization process. You actually you vaporize the condensing in the condenser, then you harvest the fuel.
So we produce two kinds of uh, alternative fuel. The first fuel is alternative petrol. The alternative petrol is used um, for small to medium sized uh, machines. So you have power saws, which is a chainsaw. You have the water pump, lawn mowers as well. Uh, any small machine, that fuel will be usable. For the diesel, alternative diesel fuel, that's usable by heavy duty diesel engines, generators, uh, it's used by vehicles as well. My own vehicle, that's what I use. The most effective, carbon effective way to deal with plastic waste is not to produce plastics at all. So we need to innovate to find alternative to plastics. But while we have the plastics, the ones that we already produced, we need to explore all options. And I think pyrolysis and low-tech, locally produced pyrolysis processes like the one the innovator has come up with should be encouraged. There is valid concern uh, about harmful gases that are released through pyrolysis process. But people need to know the difference between pyrolysis and incineration. Incineration is burning in presence of air. Pyrolysis is burning outside air in an enclosed system. So by itself already, there is a limited amount of toxic gases that are released. But those toxic gases, even though they are released, there are now technologies that can help actually uh, harness those gases or actually purify them. Four, one, forty-eight. Please welcome to our station. This is not.